What is pseudo code? Well, basically, it's writing fake code. And here's a couple of examples. So we got a text version and a flowchart version. And let's go ahead and see what we actually want to create. So basically, what we want to create is uh, Mario jumping when we hit the spacebar and when we are underground, of course. So let's go ahead and see how we will do this in pseudo code. For the text version of pseudo code, it's really easy to create. It's basically just typing what you think. And if we think we want to jump if we hit spacebar and if we are underground, then we just type that out with a syntax of code, of course. So with the syntax of code, it just looks a little bit like this. So if tap spacebar and if on ground, then jump. So there's also a flowchart version of pseudo code, but it's just basically a lot more work and there is a, a pro, you know, you can, if you look at it, it's just way more easy to uh, understand what's going on and what is happening instead of the text. So the next question we want to ask ourselves is, do we want to use the text version or do we want to use the flowchart version? Round one, fight! If you are looking at how fast we want to make the pseudo code text wins flowcharts take way more time than text yeah. round two fight even though text is easy to create and fast it also has a disadvantage if you look at it with one eyesight you don't know what's going on with flowcharts you do flowchart definitely wins final round fight for the last round we are checking how easy it is to create both of them. Well, text is just written everywhere. With flowchart, you can also draw it on paper if you want. So the last round is kind of a tie. However, if I have to choose for my personal opinion, I would go for text because it's faster. You can use it everywhere. You don't need drawing skills. This is why I choose that text wins over the flowchart. Yeah. Okay. Oh.